Hi, I'm Kim Tasso and today we're going to be looking at a core marketing idea, that of the marketing audit. And the props I'm using today, onion and pestle, uh, you might think I'm doing a cookery class, but I'm not. It's definitely marketing. So we're going to be looking at um, what is a marketing audit and why do you need one? And one of the key reasons about having a, a marketing audit is it means that your marketing can be more effective. So what is a marketing audit? Well, there are definitions from both uh, Philip Kotler in the US and Malcolm McDonald in the UK, two marketing gurus. And both of the definitions have things around a systematic and regular examination of the environment in which we're working. Um, they talk about looking for strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and threats. They talk about studying our aims and possible strategies so we select the right position with the right competitive advantage and can recommend the appropriate uh, marketing strategies and tactics. Why do we need a, a marketing audit? Well, it's kind of like the foundation of really good marketing. It gives us a framework through which we can go and do research and analysis um, to look at all the things we need to consider and really kind of do a reality stress test of what we're proposing for our marketing. Um, and it also kind of gives us a, a chance to look at for insights and ideas and opportunities as we're doing our analysis. It gives us a kind of a, a rational basis and evidenced approach to marketing, if you like, because it sets out all the data points and all the analysis so that you can follow the journey. So our stakeholders can see where our thinking comes from and why we've recommended the things we have. So it helps our stakeholders on the marketing journey. So let's start with the onion. And I've used a fake onion because the real one made my eyes water. Um, if you've ever seen the film Shrek, you'll know that Shrek uh, accuses a donkey of being uh, onion boy because he has so many layers. And it's kind of like that with the marketing audit. When we do a marketing audit, we often start right in the middle in the internal environment. We'll look at the things immediately impacting on our, our sales, the products we have, the price, the promotion we charge um, and, and, and other things that we do right in the centre. Then we'll move a bit further out and perhaps look at the overall team or service line or sector group. And then a bit further out to look at the whole firm and its resources and its overall position in the market and its overall growth and so on. And then we start moving outside the organisation. We do some external analysis. Now, we start with looking at the near environment and that's where we consider our uh, competitors and um, alternatives that our clients might look at instead of buying our services. And then we do a structured analysis of the far external environment. And that's where we come to our pestle because this is a structured approach to analysing that far external environment. Some people call it a step or a pest analysis. So let me just go through what we look at in a pestle analysis. We start with P for political, so whether we're in predominantly you know, very capitalist free market environment or more socialist centrally and nationally controlled uh, uh, political environment. Then we look at uh, economics, things like interest rates, exchange rates, trade deals, you know, recessions uh, and issues such as that. Then S is for kind of sociological and cultural issues, you know, how people live their lives, demographic issues such as the ageing population, ways people live and work. Then T for technological uh, and again, we're seeing a huge amount of impact there with digital transformation and everyone working from home and everyone moving into an online space. L is for legislative uh, issues. So there we might be looking at things like um, taxation regimes or regulatory issues in terms of constraints on how we operate our businesses. And the final letter and pestle would be E for environmental. Um, so the whole kind of climate, sustainability uh, and all those issues we would take into account. So we would look at all those in terms of how they impact our markets and our clients to help us identify what their emerging and future needs might be. So um, we would do a, a complete onion 
audit, including our pestle analysis of the external environment before we set our goals and recommend a marketing strategy. So thank you very much indeed for watching and listening and I hope your marketing goes well.